welcome back so now let's convert the date here so before we do that uh, let's see here so here are the list of props available here and I'm interested in this props which is the format and we can convert with the help of format and I like to convert it in a year month and date format and to use this uh, in our date picker component we can use in this way you can see here we can write a format as a props and you can give it a custom name and then can, we can return this and we have only moment install okay moment yes yeah. so let's convert this date so first I have to use the format as a props so let's use the format props here So here is the date picker and here I'll use FRM format and then I'll give the name as a custom date and now I have to use uh, this custom date and then I convert this into the date that I want. So here I can use this within the methods here I'll make M18 so yes methods and receives the date and here I can do exactly same as mentioned here so just I have to return this so I can do like this return moment moment and this one which is date here and then I can format it for image format and I like to format this date as year month and day so now uh, let's see this so if I refresh this and first select I think my NPM is not running so let me run this okay this is done now let's refresh and if I checked and you can see my date is converted in this format so we have the year we have the month and then we have the date and this is what I need okay so everything is fine here now what I like to do here is just here let's go to the date picker here and here I like to give the V model so let's give the V model and I can give this edge a time I can make this as time and then I have to write it here time and I'm interested in other props as well so if you go here we can use the inline so inline is either true or false so I want to show dead picker so I can use the inline and I can make this as a true so if I use here inline so let's use here inline and this is true TRU true now it should show me the dead picker and you can see it shows me the dead picker okay now whenever I click this I like to post the date that I'm currently getting here into the time so instead of doing this I can just do like this this dot time okay now let's see what I get here just to check uh, just to check I'll write here somewhere else here TIM time and let's see and should be somewhere here and you can see and it's displayed here okay so I so now I have to send this date to my endpoint and based on that I should filter all the doctors from my database so now let's make the API so now let's go here in api.php and here I'll make the two routes uh, one is first I'll get all the doctors based on today's date and another is whenever you send the post request whenever a user clicks this particular date okay so first let's go here in the API and I'll make the grid route 
and I'll write here as a doctors today slash today and I'll be using the front end controller which we have already front end C O N T R O L I controller and I'll make this doctor today T O D A -O today so this will be my method doctor today and this doctor today will return all the doctors who are working in today's day so let's make go and make write this method here so here I'll write public function doctor today request or a curious request and I'll return a doctor they're working today here so here I'll write the doctors edge as a variable and we have appointment from the table and here I like to get based on this date so I'll write where that to get the result based on this date I have to write a where date because I'm working with the date so date which is in my appointment table so if you go here and in the appointments table we have the date here and where that the that should be equals to the date that we are getting from the request and that will send to our endpoint that will send so here will not send in point here uh, because I like to get the doctor who are working on today's date whenever this page is reload so this is basically when the page mounted okay so for that just I'll write here today's date so today's date will we'll get in the PSP as a date YMD this will get the today's date and then I'll write to get here and let's return the doctors DOC TOR doctors now let's go to this particular URL and the since we are registering this route in API the prefix will be API so we have to use API as a prefix so if I go here and if I write API and doctors today then you see you can see here doctors and today's date there is one doctor available in today's date and we can verify this from here and here 2020 uh, 0990 so there is one record right so we are getting one result so based on this user ID which is actually doctor ID we have to get a name of doctors from the users table so we have to set up a relationship as well and we do have a relationship already set up in the appointment table you can see we have a doctor so let's get a doctor as well let's include doctor so we can write here with with and then we can load the doctor as well doctor now we should have some data from the users table as well and you can see we have the relationship doctor and the user id 56 name of doctor is doctor2 and you can verify this from here so with a user id 56 the name is simply doctor2 okay this is okay now our api is all good now we have to get the doctor whenever our page is mounted so to get that let's go here and here I write a mounted M O U N T E D mounted and we'll write axios dot get and API slash uh, it's the doctor doctor slash today doctor slash T O D A what today let's say this again so it's the doctor slash today and we'll get this result and then here response And we'll make here the doctors as an array and we'll store everything here so we'll push this here so I'll write at this dot doctors and what a response we get just we'll put in the doctor and let's check this as well so now just to test this here I'll write doctor and let's see what we get doctors and let's go back and let's reload this and you can see we got one doctor who is who is working and today's dead now let's look and get this doctor here 
So let me remove this everything here and we have already this ready and here we'll be looping and we'll get this result. So V4 here I'll write D index in doctors which is our array which we are getting and here first is the index and here I can write it adds index plus one and second is the images so here I can write image I need to bind it and all the images are stored in the images folder in the public directory which are here in the images directory so images slash and I have to conquer this and since we are getting all these results from the appointments and we don't have any user in portals in a form table but we do have the user image in the use table and we have the relationship set up that and so we can get that to the relationship okay so we have a doctor and we have here image and we have the image here okay so we have to use this doctor as a relationship so d dot doctor doc to your doctor dot a image from the image users table and let's give the width so i'll give the width as 80 and this should uh, get the image from this our public directory so now let's check this we should have the image here so if i refresh this then you can see i have the, that doctor image now let's get we got a photo we we have, we have the index so we have the photo now let's get the name here so here we'll get the name of that doctor and this is a d and the relationship which is the doctor dot name and then we need expertise of the doctor d dot doctor dot dept department in which department that the doctor particle that particle doctor works so we get this from here and here we'll have the booking as uh, when you as a booking as a button so let's refresh this and you can see here so these are not formatted well so let's see what's going here so we have the tr here and t body and our tr is status here we have a td here one td two three two three four and this is one two three four five let's make this as th as a scope row and th and we have one today another today 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 okay now let's get this now let's refresh this so this t h should be closed within here and now this time everything should be fine so save this and let's reload and everything is perfect now let's make this click button so we already have that we have to go here and i'll grab this button so let's grab this one book an appointment and we'll have the syrup paste over here so we don't we are not using the route here since this is a view component we can use and here now I have to use that particular URL so so let's go here and let's see in the web.php that particular URL where we shows the appointment time for the doctors and it's the new appointment we have the new appointment let's copy this here slash new appointment and then slash and then we need the doctor id and then we need the date so the doctor id is user id so d dot user 
underscore id plus we need so d dot user underscore id is, gives the doctor id and then plus we need the slash and then we need the date d dot date from the appointment table okay and this should work and let's see now so if i refresh this and we have here book an appointment and it's broken here so let's see what's wrong so anchor tag this should be fine now this time this should be fine and if i click here i should see all the time about all the data available for this particular appointment so if i click here and this is the time okay so i need to have i need to log in, in order to get in order to book this date so in the next video we'll work on this so whenever i click this date it should show all the doctor evolving this date without reloading this page